Welcome to another Hass Assistant video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at Frigate again. On the last video, we went over some of the changes that were made on the most recent Frigate overhaul update. Today, I'm gonna to dive a bit deeper into Frigate zones and the most up-to-date blueprint for receiving Frigate-related notifications on your devices. So as per the previous video, to customize your zone and masks, if you just come over to the settings page on Frigate, go to the masks and zones. Today, I'm gonna to be looking at my rear link doorbell. So you can see I've got my rear link zone here, motion mask, and the object mask here. So there tends to be a lot of movement on this camera. So I set up a motion mask covering about three quarters of this camera. Down the right, there's a public pathway and road. So I have an object mask to cancel out all the cars and people that will be walking down this pathway. Setting up the motion and object mask is good for preventing any false notifications, but also it reduces the amount of processing usage on your CPU or GPU as it's got less of an area to scan. So it's very worthwhile doing. So just very quickly to create a new mask, hit the plus button, create the area where you want to create your mask, hit save, and then you'll need to, as it states down here, restart Frigate for the changes to be made. And to delete any mask, just come over here and hit the little bin icon and hit delete. So once you're happy, you can then go over to the developer tools, always check configuration, and then hit restart. Once Home Assistant has restarted, the next thing we need to do, if you haven't got already, we need to get the Frigate integration installed, which is this one right here. To get that, you just go over to this GitHub repository, which I'll have linked in the description below, and hit the Open Hacks repository on my Home Assistant. And as always, make sure that your Home Assistant URL is correct, and then hit Open Link. Once there, make sure this Frigate integration is installed. And once again, check configuration, restart Home Assistant. When Home Assistant's restarted, go over to the Devices and Services page, add integration, search for Frigate, and it should auto populate this little box here. If it hasn't, you can just grab your Home Assistant URL followed by the port that it's using. In my case, it's 5000. Hit submit, and then it should bring up this integration here, which has or your camera devices, as well as the zones that you've created. So you can see here, it's got my rear link zone. When you click on that, it will have the objects that you've included. So in my case, I have dog occupancy and person occupancy. This one here is what we're gonna need for the next step, which is creating the automation using the most up-to-date Frigate blueprint. So to add the blueprint, go to settings, automations, then blueprints. And the blueprint we want is this one here, Frigate Notifications. You can see it's version 12.0.4a. So to get this blueprint, we need to go over to this repository here, which again, I'll have linked in the description. And the one I'd recommend using is stable version. You can click this import blueprint to my home system. For me, that didn't work. So I had to manually import this blueprint to my home system. And how I did that is I went to stable.yaml, copied this blueprint using the copy raw file button up top right hand corner. Go back to home system. I'm using studio code server. You can use any other file editor that you want in home system. And then on the top, you'll see blueprints. Just expand that. I'm gonna to go to automations. I created a folder here and named it the author of the blueprint. Then in there, just created a file called stable.yaml and that's where you paste in the code from GitHub. Once that's pasted in, go back to developer tools, check configuration, restart Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant is restarted, go to settings, automations, create automation on the bottom right, and then you should see get notifications. So once you're in the blueprint, you just scroll down until you see Frigate camera. So here you just select what camera you want to use with this notification. So for me, I'm using my rear link doorbell, so just click on that. Mobile device, this is the mobile device that you want to send notifications to. If you're using notification group, you've got an option to use there. I'm not, so I'll just leave that blank. Base URL, it says it's recommended for iOS devices or um, it's required for Android or Fire TVs. So I'm not using any of those, I'm just using an Android phone. So I can leave that blank. MQTT topic, 
you can leave this as default unless you otherwise think that you need to change the topic name. Client ID, I'm only using a single instance of Frigate, so I'm going to leave that blank. So this section here is a customization of the actual notification message itself, starting with the title. I don't want a title, I'm just going to leave that blank. Next, you've got the notification message itself. So it will work off dynamic variables such as the label, so whether it was a car or a person, whether the object is loitering or if another object was detected, and then at the end, the camera name. So you can choose from preset messages, so whether it's short or long, I'm just going to leave it as the default. If you have face detection, which I do not, this might also be a useful option for you. I'm just going to leave it as the default. A bit further down, it comes to critical notification. So this is if your phone at night time, you put it on silent, this will override that and play a sound or vibrate your phone anyway. I'm going to leave that as false, but you do have some options there to play with if you so wish. For the attachment, I'm going to use Snapchat with bounding box. So bounding box being the, blue, I think it's a blue box that it puts around the object that's been detected within Frigate. So I'll use that. Video, you can hit this little clip option here. So that will give you a short video, more like a GIF rather than a video file that'll be played when your phone receives a notification from Frigate. And then you've got other various options here, choosing the colour of the notification, the volume sound if you're an iOS user. You've got an option here for Android Auto, so if you're an Android Auto user when you're driving around in your car, that's also quite a nice thing to have. So moving on to the filters, so this is where we're going to put in our Frigate Zone name. So make sure if you are using the Frigate Zones that this is enabled. And then on Required Zones, you'll just need to manually type in the name you gave your zone, click off that box and then it will populate on the top here. If you're using more than one zone, you'll en enable that. I'm not, so I'll just leave that disabled. The object you want to detect within that zone, for me, is a person. If you've got some kind of presence device where that zone is and you want to use that, you can put in that device there. I'm not, so I'm just going to leave that blank. And you've got lots more various other options just to make sure you receive only the no notifications that you want to. So moving on to the action buttons and URLs. So these are the buttons that you'll see on each notification. And you can just customize what each of those buttons do. So for example, the first one here I've got is view stream. So when I click on view stream, it will take me to the live stream of that camera. So at the top, you just put in what you want to call the button, how it appears in a notification. And then here you've got a bunch of options of what you actually want that button to do. And then a bit further down, you have the option for custom actions. I don't need any custom actions for this, so I'll just leave all those blank. And then at the very bottom, you've got TV notifications. If your notification has been sent to a TV, there's various things you can do to customize that. Once you're happy, hit save. And just to show you what the notification looks like, I'll have it on the screen here. And that brings us to the end of the video. As always, I hope you found this video somewhat helpful if you're using Frigate and the notifications blueprint. Please leave a like if you did find it helpful and subscribe to the channel for future videos from Hass Assistant.